We start with the uncertainty surrounding Samsung. The group's top executive is in court as we speak after prosecutors asked judges to issue an arrest warrant for him for alleged white-collar crimes dating back up to five years. Kim Bog Young has our top story. The high-profile legal showdown between prosecutors and Samsung Group's Lee Jae-yong began Monday morning at the Seoul Central District Court. He was joined by two Samsung executives, Choi Ji-sung and Kim Jong-jung, from the group's now deactivated control tower, the future strategy office, for the hearing that started at 10.30 a.m. Korea time. Swarms of reporters and camera crews were gathered to see if E would make a statement before entering the court, but he walked past quickly without uttering a word. The billionaire Samsung Group heir is facing two charges. The first is over the controversial 2015 merger between two Samsung affiliates, Samsung CNT and Tail Industries. E is accused of intentionally manipulating their stock prices, lowering the value of Samsung CNT's shares, and inflating those of Tail Industries to ensure the merger went through without a hitch. He's also accused of inflating the value of pharmaceutical company Samsung Biologics by committing accounting fraud. Both of the alleged moves are seen by prosecutors as his bid to further cement his power over the group and facilitate a clean succession from his ailing father, Lee Gun Hee. Samsung Group is in shock as the prosecution's move came right after E requested an external committee to decide whether such an investigation was even required. Samsung issued a statement on Sunday rebutting some of the points put forward by prosecutors and asked the court to pave the way for the company, which is South Korea's biggest, to normalize its management structure amid these unprecedented times with COVID-19 outbreak and the trade war between China and the U.S. The court's decision could be out as early as Monday night or early Tuesday morning. If an arrest warrant for E is approved, it will be the second time in just 28 months that he has been arrested. He spent around a year in detention for a previous corruption case, but that was suspended in February 2018. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.